This scene of Vegetable Police is explaining the main scam of the carnivore diet. Said, how can you say he's crazy? How can you say it? Like I'm eating raw chicken and stuff and I'm not getting sick. Because if we boil it down, it comes to this difference. Carnivores rely on anecdotal evidence and vegans rely on data. That's why vegan doctors usually say, Please don't confuse stories with evidence. People tell stories about, oh, I adopted this diet and I'm eating organ meat all day long and I've lost weight. That's a story, that's not science. Check it out. But which of these two ways to give your point across is actually better? There's a big list on Wikipedia displaying the cognitive biases. In ex-vegans, the change bias and the sunken cost fallacy are the most dominant. Sometimes we are our own worst enemies. We think we can drive a car even if we drank too much beer. We race cars or we have unprotected sex without thinking of the consequences. In the end, we have to realize that our brain lives in a bone castle far away from where the action is. There's a blood-brain barrier allowing only key information to pass through. It all boils down to this. Our brain doesn't know what's good for us. Because over millions of years, it was only occupied with thoughts on survival and giving away our genes. To deal with the shortcomings of our own cerebral cortex, our ancestors developed a thing called science. Which she finds as the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world. Systematic is the key word here because the definition of that again is doing something according to a plan or a fixed system. And what the fixed plan does is reducing cognitive biases and therefore allows you to get an objective view of the world. Which means science is good, veganism is valid. So if there's one decision in our life we need to be especially sure and therefore have to rely on objective evidence, it should be when it comes to our health and the health of sentient beings around us. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.